The opening round of competition, Tatiana Weston Webb leads this heat as the top seeded surfer, Sage Erickson and Lakey Peterson, representing California and the USA, are looking for a spot in the lead to skip into round three action. Really fun, rippable conditions here. And we will catch up with Tatiana Weston Webb. Chasing down this left, frames it up vertically for a big first turn. Jams it off the roof and starts with a nice, tidy two-turn combo box. She said she had one of the toughest losses of her career at the Fiji Pro as we check out her first wave. Beautiful opening maneuver right there, nice and vertical. I always say the judges are going to love those vertical turns a lot more than if it was a horizontal sort of a, more of like a transition turn. And the highest seeded surfer accomplishing her first win at the U.S. Open. Then you have the improvement of Erickson and now the comeback from Lakey after a big injury. Quick snap for Lakey and she's out. So waiting for numbers from Tati's left. Lakey's quick right. Nice and early. And seeing that first section, it almost looked like it was going to open up at first. Just gave us an immediate flashback to what happened last season at this venue when Tatiana Weston Webb got a perfect 10 for getting a solid barrel. Came out and had some room to move. This one starts off solid, a 6-6-7, all maneuvers. That's a great score. But, but what you've told us is that these young ladies have worked really hard at their game and improved on that. And here goes Tatiana with a, a win under her belt already. So. Checking out the left is Sage Erickson. Clean connection off the lip. Controls it for a moment, then goes down. That's Erickson's starting wave in this matchup. Which puts it closer to the moon, so you have the gravitational forces that are going to be stronger. And then also the bathymetry. You have the bathymetry here. There's a lot shallower coastline, so the tides make a much more drastic change. So a lot of factors come in, too. you got islands and, and depths of the ocean that all affect tides just generally. But the main reason why tides happen is that little moon that's in the sky. <laughs> I really well done, Pete. love that segment on the tides. There Thank you, you very much, hey! Pete. <laughs> Talking about the moons and how it obviously translates into really good waves here. But obviously the biggest tidal extremes that we see here in Europe are insane. There's even like harbors that you'll see a boat absolutely dry docked on the low tide. And then in, you'll see on the high, it's completely perfect yeah. place to park your boat. 20 foot of water. <laughs> yeah, as we look at a left-hander for Sage, up and out. Tatiana backed up her 6.67 with a 3.0. She's up again couple of messy sections but she'll stay on her feet. Two quick snaps. The left continues with Sage Erickson. Great jam right on the money. Oh. And a big redirect. Wow. A lot of control and power from the Californian. Talk about improvement. That young lady's uh, improved so much over the last couple of months even. Without priority. Let's take a look at the left again. Watch how powerful these turns are. I mean just in the hook, in the pocket. And again, just slams that last maneuver through the lip. So Sage doing a good job to put herself back in the seat. This one continues with Lakey Peterson. Carves the first section. Another wrapping turn. This wave just trimming in size, now going flat. And she'll kick out on her feet. Lakey with a two, three, and we'll get scores updated in heat number two in a moment. Let's hear from Joanne DeFay now with Strider. San Lua, a place that you've surfed in the past, Bots. Oh, beautiful wave. Absolutely beautiful. Was on tour uh, back in my day. Um, incredible left-hander. Definitely should be back on the tour. Such a beautiful place. Super cool people. Great food. And uh, an absolute perfect wave. Now catching up with this amazing left from Sage. It's an 8-3-3. Wow, beautiful surfing from Sage. You know, two solid turns. We talk about getting that board vertical, putting some power into it. She did exactly that. Uh, I feel sorry for anyone that comes up against her in a heat this year because she's, uh, she's found something. An absolute fun looking left is setting up now for Tatiana Weston Webb, number four in the world. She's had some downtime to get down the face. She'll end up without a maneuver and she'll kick out. Tati chasing a 5.0. Lakey needs a 7.67 to answer back. Uh, I feel sorry for anyone that comes up against her in a heat this year because she's, uh, she's found something. An absolute 
fun looking left is setting up now for Tatiana Weston Webb, number four in the world. It's had some downtime to get down the face. She'll end up without a maneuver and she'll kick out. Tati chasing a 5.0. Lakey needs a 7.6.7 7 to answer back. With more waves on the way, priority is with Sage. And we'll see if this one's going to set up. Now, seeing this opportunity for Sage Erickson, a couple of big backside blows and a whipping finishing move. She'll stay on her feet. Looks like Erickson is just gaining momentum in this lineup in heat number two. That's uh, amazing. It's a long time ago now. Let's <laughs> yeah. look at the replay from Tati. All right, Tatiana Westerweb not one to uh, shy away from the fight, that's for sure. She's uh, got a lot of work to do to try and get herself back into this heat. And that is definitely a step in the right direction for Tatiana. Le Sage Erickson, 8.33. She's backed it up with a 6.13. And we see Lake trying to get herself in the mix as well. A couple of solid turns from her. These young ladies starting to utilize that left hand sort of uh, bank that we saw earlier this morning, Joe. Once that tide starts coming in, I'll tell you what, the wind isn't affecting it as much as I thought it was going to, but Sage Erickson having so much fun on their backhand, and that's confidence for you right there. Just that ability to throw it up on that last turn and stamp that 6 1 3, which has really extended her lead. Tatiana now needing a 7 8, and Lakey in a combo situation. 7.45 to go, Tatiana Weston Webb, still left searching. Just up and out of that last running left. We see her open up the season on her backhand and snapper throwing down amazing vertical turns. We talked about her ability in the barrel to the airport in Lisbon to make it in time for the contest of lower trestles and handled it all in stride. Checking out the heat recap, heat number two. Tati opened things up with a 667. Yeah, great way to start. You know, just took the foot off the gas a little bit. Wave selection obviously very tricky. This young lady though, she's had no problems finding the good ones. But it's not just finding them, Joe, it's capitalizing. Once you get them, she did exactly that. Two massive turns, dropping the highest score of the day so far, 8.33 for the ladies. And then backed it up, which is also very, very important not just one good wave you're only as good as your backup and at this stage because there was a lot less butter to go around for everyone's bread that's for sure heading into the final minute now Lakey Peterson jamming a fun looking turn just good for one move so it won't affect her position in this matchup score wise 50 seconds to go Tati needs a 7.8 to try to steal this one off Erickson. Sage with priority though, Sh should be in a good position just to shut this one out, but. Yeah, you know, definitely a great position. Obviously Lakey needing a 9.36. Tatiana still searching for that 7.8. So here goes Tatiana now. Tatiana, high line carve. Now starting to run after a big section, throwing down the air reverse attempt. Had the projection off the top, just couldn't find the landing. Yeah, just came down backwards, unfortunately. Didn't get that full rotation going. As uh, we hit down into that last 10 seconds, Joe, looks like uh, Sage Erickson keeps her roll going and is uh, looking towards another good result. Impressive heat win for Sage Erickson. Got a solid keeper result in the final series in Kashkaish. Keeps the role going here in France where she found a lot of success last year, including a key heat win over Stephanie Gilmore. As she'll be flying into round three and has earned herself a day off from competition. Tati Lakey will be reseated in the second round as this one continues.